What's going on everybody and welcome back to another bee fishing episode. We're going to be doing something a little different today. So as y'all know, we're having a baby. Me and my wife, um, we're due or she's due. I'm just along for the ride at this point. She's due in mid-August. Um, so I've been kicked out of my room. The, uh, the old man cave is no more. It's gone. Um, and that's what this video is about. Me moving into my new space in the garage where we make the baits. We've got all the bait making stuff, all my tools, all of my bait wall stuff. So what we're gonna do is right there, roll tide, we're gonna move that sticker somewhere over here. We're gonna hang a TV there um, so I can stream stuff out here while I'm making baits. So that's the plan for today. It's to get everything moved out of the, uh, the, um, the nursery or what's gonna be the nursery, my man cave, and move everything in here. So let's do it. As you can see, the old man cave is a little more empty now, for the moment. But we've got the crib, we've got the glider, we've got travel stuff with car seats and stuff, a giant monkey. Um, the theme is going to be safari um, or jungle or whatever, little giraffe blanket. Haven't really decorated much and uh, in, in the old closet. Got some clothes. Shout out to James Leary. That's a subscriber who sent me that one. Really appreciate that. So we've got, you know, newborn to God only knows when and some little baby hangers. So with all that being said, we got to get the TV hung up. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff up in the attic that we're doing. Hey Rubes, sorry. You no, know, you can't come out here. I get the garage door open. Sorry, baby. So I want this area to be fixed up. I've already got my rods nice and organized. Um, rest in peace. I lost another rod. I mean, y'all probably seen me try to recover the one from the pond. We lost another one. I'm sure that one's gonna come up either in an upcoming video. You'll see me losing that one, even though it wasn't my fault. How have I lost two rods in like the last month and none of them were even my fault? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. All right, so the tools for the job, we've got medium wall mount for the TV. I like hiding everything behind the TV. So I've gotta run some electrical outlets. I'm probably gonna still power from over here. Goes up somewhere in the ceiling, I'm sure. Um, and I've gotta get a junction box right up there behind the TV. I need to get the wall mount put up first. So I know about where to put the junction box. So I probably need to get out my stud finder and get to work. This is a problem. That whole area right there, I gotta sort that out so I can get a ladder or something over there. Well, I may just stand up on that. Not OSHA compliant, but I really don't care. OSHA, you don't own me. Sure that'll work. It's pretty straight. I know some of y'all are Bama haters, and I get it. We don't particularly like y'all either. At least not during football season. I love y'all, y'all outside of it. And that is actually the first bass I ever caught. A little 2.09 pound bass. I should have a stud, probably right here. I do. Well, if I follow that path, I should be okay. You can hear the difference. Okay, so there's the studs. We need to get this little doohickey out. 
And you're probably wondering, why is this on a fishing channel? Well, because we're men and we want TVs everywhere. And I'm just trying to include y'all in on the process. Let's go grab the TV. It's gonna be upstairs in the attic, which is where we'll be when we run these cables in just a minute. Hush, buddy. Here is the TV. And just looking at these screws for the mounting stuff, y'all can't see, it's too dark in here. Let's get it down in the basement first. All right, so let us see about this. All right, so let's see here. What I'm thinking is correct, this thing slides on there. Yikes. That thing barely fits. This is why I always test the stuff. That's much better. See how much easier that fits on there with the TV trying to trying to put that on? It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's get these lag bolts in. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. All right, I'm probably gonna put my plugs right there. And now comes the fun part, where we get to cut these holes and fish this cable. Probably right about there. I think that's the most efficient thing to do. Now oh, we're about to get dust all over the place. Good, good, good. All right, now we've got to go upstairs and see if we can't punch through. Ruby just took off. Rube Skidoo, what you doing? Hey, Ruby. She wants to help. Oh no, she wants to help so bad. Don't, uh-uh. Oh. Ruby, get Ruby. out. It's the uncharted territory. Rubes. Get her. Hey. Are you trying to help and you just don't know what you're doing? We don't need you to end up in the bathroom. That's where you'd end up right there. <sighs> All right, let's take this, fish it down. About right there. We're gonna have this guy follow this bundle this away. We need to go get a lantern. Alright, so let's kill the power to the garage, jump it from there, and done. Garage plugs. Perfect. We have some light. My plan here is to cut this one. Uh, I may want to. Well, let's cut it first. Nope, we don't get electrocuted. Alright. Sure, if any of y'all that are watching our electrician jar are probably screaming at the camera right now, or screaming at the uh, computer or phone or whatever you're watching on right now, because I'm probably doing something wrong. But this is the way I've always done it. Power has been jumped and run. Whew. That was something. All right, <clears throat> so there's our cable that we ran. All right, let's feed this guy through, because trust me, if you don't do it before, it's really gonna suck afterwards. That's plenty enough. The hole is about perfect. Now that box in there. Snatch that one down. Ta-da! There you go. Take this little cover, which is almost the same color. 
ta-da, plugs are installed. Let's turn on the power and hope nothing blows up. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That came back on. Uh, how do we even test this? Ha ha, look at there. All right, here goes nothing. See how that looks. Quite like that. All right. And I am sure some of y'all are wondering, now Brett, if you're not rigging up cable, what are you doing? Here's what we're doing. We're doing a Chromecast device, which means I can bring my phone out here and tell it, throw it to the TV. We can stream whatever we want. Oh, yes. I feel like I totally got the setup in here now. I'm gonna tell you, that just, that just looks sharp. I don't care what you say, that looks sharp up there. All right, so let's test this thing out. This is going to be a little weird. We're gonna take Chris's video. Start it from the beginning. Let's see if it works. How about that? Pretty clear picture. So we don't get a bunch of pack. I can dig it, people. I can dig it. All right, so that's all controlled by my phone. I can tell it pause, and it pauses up there. I can say, oh, I miss Chris. Let me see Chris again. And there he's back. That's pretty neat. Ruby, what do you think of it? Tell the peeps what you think of the TV out here. Hmm? Tell them. Rubes. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the camera. No. Don't be scared of the camera, Rubes. Oh, Rubes. I oh, know. I oh, know. You're a great... Oh, ugh. You're turning into a great dog. Yes, you are. We're going to try to get her out on the boat pretty soon. Stop eating my ear. Oh, thank you. We're going to try to get her out on the boat. And uh, maybe we can catch some bass and she can get her first bass. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, Chris. Uh, being on a bigger screen, I think makes it makes you look worse. Mm. It's unfortunate. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Letting you know what's going on in my life. Not fishing related, but me related. Things that are going on in the little... The little bass cove, that's gonna what we're gonna call this, the bass cove. I'm relegated to where the water heater is. The baby's got the new room um, and she absolutely deserves it. She's probably gonna get anything she wants from me within reason. Um, she's not even here yet and I've already wrapped around her little fingers, um, as small as they probably are right now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you don't mind, hit that like button for me. If you've hung out here through the whole video, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this, I mean, this kind of stuff is okay with you guys, just where you peep into my life um, <clears throat> off the water and just kind of see what we do here at the house, little projects that I put together like that one. Cooked that one up like Wednesday, here it is Friday, and we're already doing it. So leave me a comment below if you like this kind of stuff because I really need to know that moving forward if I can include stuff like this on this channel. Um, if you don't, let me know. I won't um, because it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of a hassle to be honest with you to film while, we're do, while I'm doing this stuff um, because I'm trying to make sure I get a decent camera shot and I, hopefully I did that for this one. But again, leave the comment below. Let me know if this is okay to have on my channel. Um, it kind of is my channel. It's a little bit of a blog style thing. Um, just let me know. Do y'all want to care about my life? Am I that important enough? Um, that y'all kind of want to see this kind of stuff. And plus, maybe it helps you out. Maybe it's going to help someone out that doesn't even really care about fishing. They just want to do something like this. Um, yeah, that's the goal. That's the hope. Again, like, leave a comment, and as always, subscribe to Be Fishing. Join the greatest group on YouTube because I'm going to tell you, I got the greatest subscribers. I know other channels say they have the greatest subscribers, but y'all are really the best. You send me a bunch of stuff like this, 
It's just used plastic so I can make more baits. Um, some of y'all send them to me and want me to make you baits, and that's fine. I can melt them down and send back whatever you want, um, as long as it's a Senko, a finesse worm, or you know, a swim bait, because um, those are really the only molds I have. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.